Hello, friends, and welcome to This Week at the Chamber. It's Monday. It's April 4th? 3rd. 2nd? 3rd. It's Master's Week is what it is. It's That's Master's Week. Sure. That's all. And you wish you were there, don't That's you? That's for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. who doesn't? <laughs> okay. Really who doesn't? Asking, who doesn't? So. And, hey, it's great that we've got two folks from the community attending the Mid-South Economic Development basic course down in Little Rock at the Arkansas State Chamber. Both Jason Patience, our chair-elect of the chamber board, and Dr. David Mason, uh, the dean of workforce development of the college, are attending the Mid-South course and are going to have the opportunity to learn from the experts all about economic and workforce development and and network with those key people. Um, Wednesday, YLA has their nonprofit day, so they'll be spending time all over the community learning about different nonprofits and kind of the work that happens here in our community. Yeah, gr- great opportunity, of course, for that those young folks. And on Thursday, 1st District Congressman Rick Crawford is going to be back in Harrison, this time visiting with Camp Jack and the team there at the Jack Williams Veterans Resource Center uh, to learn about the value that Camp Jack and the team bring to the to the veteran community and to the community at large. He's also going to speak at Rotary Club that day, and I think one of the exciting things is he's going to look at office space to put a field rep based here in Harrison. So we're excited to have Congressman Crawford and his team visit with us this Thursday. Yep, that'll be Thursday. And then actually Saturday, there's a ribbon cutting. Uh, if you haven't seen on social media, Kubota of Harrison having their grand opening. Yes. That was the construction out there by Airport Road. So they're moving their retail location from Highway 65 south, south still in Harrison, but uh, up to north by the airport. A beautiful facility. We're excited to see it on Saturday at 1130. We'll be having a ribbon cutting. All sorts of giveaways. Um, yeah, a brand new Kubota tractor. Bob's hoping to win a new tractor. Yeah, I am. Um, I mean, yeah, who wouldn't? But it's, but they're hey, it's it's a great business. Uh, they've added a number of employees to their new location. It serves a three state area now, so we're happy for for John Smith and Matt McFarland and the Kubota crew there. Yep. It'd be a great opportunity to come out and enjoy the day. Yep, it's a Saturday, so yeah, uh, I'll be going. Kubota grand opening, a little bit of early Easter festivities, and then Masters golf for the rest of the weekend. So, Can you imagine? I, you can't beat it. It's going yeah. to be a great weekend. So. Yeah. Hello, everybody. We're here today at the site of the On Eagles Wings Leadership Center, and I've got two friends with me. I've got Nick. You want to yes. say hello? Hi, I'm Nick. Uh, I'm the coordinator for On Eagles Wings. Yeah, and of course, we've got Ron here with us. Ron. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm the valley between the two mountains here. <laughs> yeah. I actually, I, I brought something for you. Um, I here this is a uh, uh, to help I thought you'd come to help so uh, we're in the we're painting and All right. uh, we have a few things still to nail down so uh, will you be able to help us out yeah which one do you want me to do first should <laughs> I'm I just kidding paint <laughs> paint the fence no that's fine thank you <laughs> the last time I was here with you was the groundbreaking ceremony and everything that is around us right now was was just dirt grass open field and now we're here there's a beautiful building behind us and we've got a grand opening coming up. But buildings like this don't just happen overnight. So Ron or Nick, would, would one of you tell us a little bit about how we got here today? We definitely, uh, there's been a lot of, first and foremost, prayer that has gone into this project. Uh, and, and just the way God has assembled a team of people um, with the architects, with the contractors, um, just how he assembled a team to help put you know, sticks and board and mortar to the dream that was in our hearts. And it was it was just, uh, yeah, I cannot believe just seeing it go from now a dream, then it was to horizontal, now vertical, and now putting the finishing touches on it has been an amazing journey. Yeah, and it might make sense maybe for a little bit of context too of, of what is on Eagle's Wings. What is, what is the building that we're standing here in front of? Well, for a guy who spent his whole life in cross-cultural youth ministry, I discovered Native American young people, thanks to God, about 30 years ago found first of all that they had been called the most devastated adolescents in America. But then what I discovered is that they are what Dr. Billy Graham called the sleeping giant spiritually on this continent with tremendous potential to be difference makers for our whole country actually. And so out of that came this um, program for Native Americans 
by Native Americans, really, uh, called on eagle's wings. And for years, we have had teams of Native Americans where I'm the little white guy on the bus doing the praying while they are out putting our programs on basketball courts, bringing hope to their, their generation on about 120 different reservations that we've been to mm -hmm. over the years. And they have had a, made a powerful difference in reservation after reservation. But also there's so much brokenness in their lives because of how they've grown up. And so we have taken time to really disciple them and build into them. And every year we go, if we only had time, more time with them, because so much happens in a month's time. Well, hello, on Eagles Wings Leadership Center. And I have to say, Wilson, this community has been so welcoming and uh, such an encouragement to the young. We've already had some young leaders here in training this year in a temporary situation while the building has been built. And uh, now to think that uh, many from our community will be coming here uh, and our students will still be here uh, from this year. And it will be an exciting coming together in a sense of two worlds. Uh, as they meet here on April 18th. Um, I'm so grateful that uh, God picked this place, this time, and this mission to come together for such a time as this. And I felt privileged I, when I was walking here today, I got to walk down some of the hallway of history in the main office there of looking at some of the work that y'all have done over the years. Um, in, really that they have ministry. done, that's the good yeah. news, is it that, that there are these young leaders who represent the best hope for their people. Dr. Billy Graham also called Native Americans, as you know, Nick, the forgotten people. God has never forgotten them. Mm. And I believe that he is moving in a special way after 400 years of our people being here, mm. <laughs> uh, it, that God is really moving in an unusual way in this generation. And we just pray and we expect that this will be part of it. Looks like a building. What it really is is a launch pad. <laughs> it is a launch pad, not for rockets, yeah. but for leaders, for their people. And what a great place for it to be right here in Boone County, Arkansas. A launch pad for leaders. So maybe this is a good question for Nick of if we were to go through this building, we're not taking a tour today, but what would we see on the inside? Yes, uh, it is a beautiful facility. It's going to be a 25,000 square foot where we're going to have an admin area where we're going to really do a lot of the planning and the behind the scenes work. Um, but also we have a computer lab, we have classrooms, a creative arts room, we have an exercise room, we have kind of a, a kitchen, uh, Suzy Q 50s style diner cafe. And uh, that's really going to serve kind of as a student union uh, portion. And then just out back, we're going to have a huge full size basketball court. Oh, also a beautiful view from our chapel that's going to be able to see Pilot's Knob. We're going to clear some trees out, but uh, it's just really going to be a beautiful view and in the setting we have here on the campus of Ron Hutchcraft Ministries. And we've got the ribbon cutting coming up on April 18th. I know we're starting at 4 p.m. that day. For people watching this that are going to attend, what, what could they expect that day to see, Ron? Well, uh, more than cutting a ribbon, yeah. <laughs> we'll have a chance to uh, really, I think the exciting thing will be just to see what is what is going on here, meet some of the students uh, and learn more of, even about the world of Native America. And as I said, it's like two worlds coming together. I think the tours are going to be exciting. Uh, we've got some special guests coming in, a little word of inspiration, and I think it's going to be a great time. Won't be long, but it's going to be rich. Wilson, I just want to thank you and all the people you represent with the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, seriously, starting with Bob Largent and right on through everybody we have dealt with there. Uh, we were invited into you know, a board meeting at one point and so on. It's just been so welcoming, so warm, so empowering, so affirming to say this was God's place that he picked for this moment in time and this project that we call our miracle in the Ozarks. Part of that miracle have been the wonderful folks at the Chamber. Mm. Thank you for saying that. And we're excited to be a part of it too. And so you can join us April 18th here, 4 p.m. for the ribbon cutting at On Eagle's Wings Leadership Center. We'll see you there. Ron, Nick, thanks for joining me today. See you then. <laughs>